Welcome to this tutorial that will help you learn how to navigate from the main page of your Family Finder records in Family Tree DNA to the chromosome browser. You'll notice that I'm working with my father's data record, so I appear as the first match to him as his son. If I wanted to compare my DNA to his in the chromosome browser, what I would do is grab this little carrot here, I would open it, then select Compare in Chromosome Browser. This will place me on a list of records to be compared. Now, in fact, I, I really would not want to do this because I match him in so many places that looking at this graphically will not tell me anything useful, even if I compare myself to some of the other matches. So what I will do is clear or delete my record and start afresh. And you can, of course, delete a record uh, at any time yourself once you have selected it. And now, instead of boring you to death by selecting five of my records in the same way that I selected my own, let me just do that. And once I have, I'll return you to our tutorial. Gee, it's, it's almost like magic, isn't it? Uh, now, I do want to apologize that you can't see any of the names here. I've blurred them out in order to protect you know, the privacy of my matches, but you would see their names, of course, if you were me looking at my record or you looking at yours. Now, in order to go to the chromosome browser, all we have to do at this point is simply click the compare arrow. The chromosome browser has selected the records you see here to the left and color-coded each one of them to match their corresponding values. Uh, across the 22 chromosomes on this report. So there you go. Um, I'll save the analysis of this, which is quite interesting for another time. But meanwhile, you should be able to select records from across your Family Finder file and display them yourself. Take a good look at them in the chromosome browser. And have fun.